All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the brand new SDR Omega Shenron EZA. Now, this is an EZA I was worried about. Um, the way he's built, you know, he's only on two category teams, Shadow Dragon Saga, where we can't use him right now, and then Full Power. Um, and he didn't really fit the best on Full Power. Full Power is a bit of a wonky team, and it did not really have any support type units, any dedicated support type units to help all these weird units mesh well together. You know, units with Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, just all kinds of stuff. Well, now we finally did get one of these units, and that's Omega's EZA here. He gets full power category allies, two key, and 40% attack. So he is a ridiculous support type unit. He also lowers enemies' attack by 40%, which is monstrous in something like Super Battle Road. Then he also gets an 80% attack and defensive buff. So... Basically, Omega is going to be a king um, on Category Super Battle Road. He will obliterate it, um, especially uh, like like uh, the full the, you know the full power stage, uh, like an OG like STR stage. He will destroy them. Uh, even probably the Shadow Dragon Saga stage. If you had like Oceanus as your leader, he would probably crush that stage. I might actually do that. We might go into the Shadow Dragon stage with Oceanus as leader, um, and then see how well Omega does. So, um, okay. Right here, Goku's attack can be lowered by 40%. So, let's see how big of a deal that is. If Goku super attacks right away, which he did not, we would have been able to see the effects um, the, of the attack uh, being lowered by 40%, right? But, you know, I, again, it, it didn't actually work out that way. So, what does Omega hit? I'm going to be very curious. Uh, if he's over 2 million, we're good. Okay. 2.27 <laughs> 2 million. So, yeah, Omega is one of these units right here where, you know, he does over 2 million. And it's like, okay, okay, that, that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, right? But then it's like, oh, yeah, but then he's also giving 40% attack to full power category allies. Now, Metal Cooler is not one of those full power category allies. I brought him on the team uh, Virtue of Dragon Ball Super Broly's leader skill. Um, both him and Turles are just movie boss category allies, which are able to be used on the team thanks to Broly's leader skill, right? But I wanted to see uh, a bigger attack set by our boy Omega Shenron. That was kind of my thinking there. Um, okay, so we'll, I just want to push Turles off. Looks like we're going to get... Yeah, this this team, this team is going to work pretty good now. Because like once we get Turles on here, we got you know Omega on here. Uh, then, of course, like Dragon Ball Super Broly, he auto-supers anyway. And it's like super attacks are not going to become an issue. Um, this guy, Omega, is just going to be crazy. But, again, this is another one of those units, Omega is, that he's godly on one team, but then that's pretty much it, right? Because, like, uh, later on, when we eventually get another Shadow Dragon Saga uh, leader, which we, we will, probably, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something like that, um, I could see, at that point, Omega being very good on that team. Uh, probably, probably better than Physical Omega. Um... Because he is going to buff Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but I think that's it uh, in terms of the big time Shadow Dragon Saga uh, like units that are on the team. Maybe if if like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something was on uh, full power, that that would help a lot. Okay, so ooh, this, yeah, this this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Uh, Metal Cooler is not going to be able to finish off Goku right here. What is Omega's defense, by the way? All right, 110k. So. That is factoring a 40% defensive buff from Int Metal Cooler, right? He gives 40% defense to extreme uh, type allies. What is Omega's defense? Damn near 14k. Omega's stats are just very, very freaking high. That That's one of the big things about this guy. They're going to give him stats like that, bro. That's... I, I mean, his defense is very high. His, his attack is very, very high. Uh, he just has very high stats that are going to help him out a lot going through. Like, again, uh, Super Battle Road, Battlefield, these places, he's going to be great. All right, so this super attack, again, Goku is getting nerfed 53k. Okay. Uh, this Goku can hit for, you know, 150k plus, 175k, something like that. So Omega lowering his attack by 40%, which is active right now, by the way, uh, really is just crushing this Goku. Because remember, um, Omega, or excuse me, uh, Goku... Goku does not become immune to having his attack lowered in this event until we get to the Super Saiyan God Goku phase. So, we like, you know, we are seeing Omega's effects right here. Uh, right? I, I really like him. Um, you know, it might seem weird to some people, but I probably 
right now would have Omega as my third best EZA unit, I think. I think I still like Janemba as one. Um, Janemba, of course, has been overtaken, by the way, as the best um, TUR by Cooler. I think Cooler is just way, way, way too good. Um, but I, I think Janemba is the best EZA. Personally, I don't really ever hear other people talking about him. But I think Tech Gold and Frieza, for what he's capable of bringing to the table, is just right, right up there. I have Tech Gold and Frieza as the number two EZA. Um, then, I, I mean, honestly, I feel like you could then have Omega here as the third EZA. I, I, I think that would work. <laughs> I really do think that would work as Omega as a third EZA. Now, again, you know, you're going to want to make sure he's got a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, full power category allies around. Um, for Extreme STR, that's not going to be tough. You know, you're going to be able to get some full power category allies like uh, LR Full Power Frieza. Uh, you know, you have uh, LR Broly is on there as well. You know, units like that, which you can kind of put on the team just to ensure uh, that you're going to be able to, like, like maximize Omega for, like, Battlefield or something like that. And then also for the uh, original STR stage of Super Battle Road. Then, of course, again, like, you know, Full Power stage and the Shadow Dragon Saga stage of Category Super Battle Road, this Omega will dominate as well. Uh, he's not going to be as good in EZA because, like, he doesn't give defense as part of his support. Um, obviously, EZA bosses uh, cannot have their attack lowered, so that's not going to be any, any help over there, right? Um, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, okay. I... He always transforms. Oh, he always, always transforms. Uh, all right, let's see. <laughs> I guess, I, I guess, I guess we'll, we'll just keep it like this because the one thing is, Turles does link up rather well uh, with Omega, so we're still gonna see. We are, we do have big bad bosses active, so that's good. Uh, all right, so so let's see what sort of attack stats these are gonna give us in mind then. <laughs> what will our boy Omega get to right here? Go ahead, Omega, show us a pretty good attack stat. And we get a. Oh, 2.97. So, okay. <laughs> 2.97. Uh, if if Turles had his support type passive there, Omega would have been at what, like 3.4, 3.3, 3.5, 3 I think? One of those, like, attack stats. So, Omega is capable of hitting that hard while also giving a 40% attack buff to everyone else. Like, you just, you have to understand, like, how ridiculous that is. Omega is, like, very, very impressive. Um. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> this guy, Omega. I, I'm loving EZAs right now. Like, I, I've been saying that EZAs are the best thing that Dokkan's ever done, the best mechanic, all that. But, like, they really turn these units. Like, SCR Omega, like, no one used him. Like, I feel like he was still capable of hitting, like, in the 1 million range. You know, he was lowering enemy attack stats uh, by by 30%, which was still useful. He still had a high defensive stat, even without a defensive buff from his passive. So he was still decent, right? But now, it's just like he's just like a, a, a murderer on the, this full power team. Like, oh, as we continue to go through all of these old units and let them get easy A's, like, we're turning units that were, like, complete fodder into just absolute like monsters like I, I i'm I, i'm just loving it this is really good so i mean i don't know let me know what y'all think what what is one of your favorite easy a's um again i i do think i have this omega as like number three it's just like lowering enemy attack by 40 percent. like I, I can't it's just it's such a massive debuff like like especially in super battle road when we're you know talking going up against like three or four enemies and all of their attack is getting lowered by 40%. Like, bro. <laughs> That's going to be huge. Okay. So now this turn, now God Goku is not able to have his attack lowered. So we'll, we'll go ahead and make this the last uh, rotation. But you know, at this point, um, I, again, God, God Goku is immune to actually having his attack lowered. So we're not going to see Omega's 40% debuff kick in. But... I, I, I was pretty impressed. Um, the fact that Omega is capable of getting above a 3 million attack stat while also giving 40% attack to a lot of our allies. Like, you know, we could have Kaelin, Khalifa, and LR Gohan on a rotation with, like, Omega as a floater there, giving them, like, a buff 
you know, you could have Gohan and Goten on the team, and then, like, you know, Omega is giving them a buff. Like, there's just, there's so many combinations of ridiculous units on full power that, like, getting a full power category support type unit was so damn important. It was really, really, really huge to get this, so... Um, we do still need another one. Like, I would like another full power category support type unit. So, like, if we had, like, this Omega plus, like, I don't know, like, an actual just straight up support type unit. Like, you know, think of, like, what, what like, uh, the Time Traveler Mai is or something like that, right? Then this full power team just becomes so crazy. Because right now it is okay. You know, you can sort of get Turles on here. We can get uh, it Metal Cooler on here as well. But, you know, in the future, full power is going to get matched up with some other category, and they're not going to have Turles on the team anymore. So it's important that they get some support now. But I was blown away by SCR Omega's EZA. Um, SCR Beerus' EZA was also in the data download, so we'll go ahead and check that out in a little bit. Thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch you all next time.